Indigo Soul, Starseed Live, Namaste, brothers and sisters. Welcome to my YouTube channel and my Facebook page now. Oh, how you all doing? Just been talking to my friend and the awareness has been raised that, you know, the energy, well, I say energy, the, the atmosphere on the planet right now is mm, quite dense. Um, however, it's, it's completely overstandable because all the fires going on, all the floods going on and, you know, all the, uh, all the trauma that's happening on Earth right now while she's um, cleansing so I can actually, me and friends of mine who are empathic etc can actually feel that emotion coming from the whole collective. <laughs> My cat just made me laugh. The cat that lives with me, she's trying to sleep behind the camera and she just turned around as if she's actually filming me. <laughs> This is too cute. <laughs> oh, excuse me. That's what I mean, look, you know, one minute you're up, next minute you're down. It's like waves at the moment. Um, however, very, very briefly, I want to talk to you about healing emotions. Because us human beings, beings that are having a human experience, we are so freaking complicated, it is unreal. Why do we create such drama in our lives? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, what I mean is, for many years I've suppressed my emotions, not because I wanted to actually, well I wanted to because I didn't want to feel their pain, but at the same time I wasn't aware of how to clear them, so if I'd been aware of how to clear them, maybe I would never have suppressed them or found the need to have suppressed them, so I feel that emotion, learning to heal your emotional body should be a if you really have to use a school system, teach things like meditation and, and you know, clearing your body, emotional body, protecting your etherical body and teach about the, the galaxies and the stars and things that the ancients knew of, you know, herbs and as medicines and all the innate, beautiful innate wisdom that is held within this diverse universe it's not even a is it a universe well there's so many unis it's it's verse universe is really this universe is in a way yeah um but yeah okay so basically what i did yesterday instead of allowing the emotion because i was sitting there and boom i had all this suppressed emotion hit, rise up hit me right here and I can tell you it's like waves of crashing, crushing, sorry, sadness. Such depth of sadness, I can't even express it, how it, how it makes you feel before you clear it. So what I did, do you know what I said to myself? I'm not running out to get suppressants, I'm not going to suppress my emotions, I'm going to work with them. I can do this. It can't be that difficult. It can't be so difficult because God wouldn't... God doesn't want you to struggle, you know. The Creator loves you and has made everything in its simplicity. Even though everything is so intricate in its design, it's so simplistic in its nature. So anyway, just quickly, you sit with the emotions so you feel it here, okay? Your waves of sadness. You sit with them. Now I called in Archangel Michael and I asked him please to shield me and I gave him permission and I asked Archangel Raphael to help me release all emotions or physical symptoms or anything that wasn't serving me and I also asked Michael to clear my energy field and to remove any fear or anything of the collective consciousness that isn't for my highest good, please remove that from me now. 
So once I've done that and I can feel there with me, like I can now, because it's a very warm sensation, thank you. Um, then I just literally said to my emotions, I love you. I'm so grateful for all you've taught me. You've, you've literally taught me how to not become a master, but you've taught me to get to the next stage, the next stage, the next stage. You've helped me to expand. Because emotion, like I've said before, brothers and sisters, is just energy in motion. Emotion. Energy in motion. You know? So emotion, don't let it upset you. When you feel that sadness, say to it, thank you. You no longer serve me. Michael, please help me to release this, if, if you want to ask Michael. Or you can just say to the emotion, I command you to leave now because there is no more room for darkness within my being. Only light can exist within me. And of course, you have to be firm. Your words, you know, your everything, your body language, the way you say it, it all has an effect on the magic within, you know. Um, so yeah, I did that yesterday and then what happened? Boom! Instant tears. Instant tears. Just started crying. I didn't even have to try it. Just, just started to fall. And after that, and after I cried for a bit and I honoured my emotions and I thanked them and I commanded them away and I worked with guides and teams and all of this kind of stuff. After all of that, I went, ding! And I smiled a little bit and I was like, wow, I've gone from crushing overweight sadness to a little bit of hope in me and, you know, a bit more of a, of a smile. So it does work, brothers and sisters. And I was shocked at how simple it is, how simple it is to release emotions from your emotional body, etheric body, physical body, because emotions are trapped in every layer of your being. You know, it's energy that can be used. Utilize it. If you have sadness, make a damn song, paint a picture, write a poem, express it with creativity. Creativity is one of the ways you can channel that emotion if it's an emotion that would uh, do you good. You know, because channeling is a way of releasing emotions. You don't just have to release by telling them, thank you, you must go now. You can also release them just by purely channeling them into art, music, poetry, writing, anything that gets them feelings, emotions, energy out of you in a productive, creative manner. That is what's going to help you. That is what's helping me as well. And believe me, I apparently, let's just say I come from a family with 12 generations of depression and anxiety on both sides. So my, as you can imagine, my upbringing, my life rather, not my upbringing, my life wasn't, with them illness, well, I say illnesses, with them things, it wasn't great. However, you get past that, don't you, you know? Um, and then you grow and you learn to channel. Oh, I've got to go. Taxi's outside. Namaste, brothers and sisters. Thank you for joining me on my channel. So it's so, so simple to channel energy into productive work. Don't allow it to get you down. Allow it to be used by you instead of use it using you. And remember, disconnect yourself from the 3D uh, consciousness grid if you have to, because the, the atmosphere of them, the collective atmosphere is quite dense at the moment. If you can manage to stay on it, then stay on it. But you don't have to. You can be connected to the 5D collective consciousness, which is obviously much more uplifted. I send you prayers and blessings. I send you lots of love. Thank you for joining my channel. Make sure to check for future videos. One love. Oh, reach me for an angel or fairy reading if you feel guided. On my Facebook page. Bye.